So today we want to talk about Hadoop MapReduce. What will be Hadoop MapReduce? Hadoop MapReduce now open source distributed programming model processing technique or framework or processing engine for processing huge amount of data. Remember, now a programming model or technique no be a programming language. Be developed by some two Yahoo's ex employees. Their name na Duke and Mike Caffarella for 2002. It'd be interesting for since say the name of the Hadoop programming model come from Curtin's his son he pet by name uh, Hadoop being as some little yellow elephant. I think it'd be interesting. Here, what you will get for here now, a typical basic Hadoop structure or Hadoop architecture. It consists basically of two sets of computers. One, the main node, and then the others, workers node. In other words, one main and many workers. One main, many workers. Here I, I label the, the main to be main node, and then the workers are name I'm here to be co-worker one, co-worker zero two, up to co-worker zero five. Where they, they themselves, the bees stored in a rack. You know, if you class them into a group, they form a rack. If you create a form again another group, it create another rack. So if you get as many racks as possible, as many nodes inside a rack as possible, and many racks as possible. So again, it consists of two main computers, two main types of computers. Main computer will usually now one, and then workers computers we if it vary from one to any number again seeing this image right now the main node we see so we we'll get a name node we we'll get second name node and we we'll get a resource manager for older version they may be they may call the resource manager as job tracker and then we we'll get jvm we get the Linux operating system, the server, and the browser. The JVM is stand as the abstract computing machine for the whole of this thing. Because without Java, the thing is not going to work. So, so you get to install Java for your system where you work, for the thing to operate. That said, so if you look here, we get the resource manager, the resource manager from the name, it manage, it manage the, the cluster. In terms of, for example, the amount of CPU, the memory, the partitioning, replication, health check, and so on. Then we get, when you come to the secondary name node, it act as a check pointer for the name node. Now, if you see on the other side of this image, we get now this blue, this co-worker node, when uh, a kind of bigger image of one of these nodes here. We bas it basically looks similar to the main, main node, very different. Say, this is our resource manager, we get node manager. Again, for older version, this node manager will be called be called task tracker. You get your own JVM, of course, the server itself, Linux, we mean same as, as we know, separate machines on their own. So, that said, you see the difference between the main node and the co worker node. Now, say the main node, the coordinate, the co worker node using the resource manager as well as the name node and the secondary name node. So 
this image here they show kind of almost what you would don't repeat them today right so you see as we talk the browser it provide the user interface for example here then we we'll get the secondary name node function by checkpointing the file system metadata will be stored for the name node it will periodically get edit logs and fs image from the name node do some updating and copy and copy that means the copy and then update those things back to name node and so that when name node be if it fail it kind of give the metadata to name node say hey you don't lose your memory well no worry and i think this should be the one take this memory continue to do your task the jvm will be like the abstract computing machine on which the, the, the particular map reduce jobs then system that they run and of course we get our server we get linux operating system if i turn a linux operating system would you use remember we also use window windows we also use mac then when it comes to the hadoop utility as we see on here now the software itself where you get to download and then set up install and for the main node it is installed now for the main node then it will take care of the rest of the node all right then now we'll go for yeah we don't already see this GUI now as we move ahead we will see plenty of different terminologies will come our way we hear of HDFS we hear of YAN and Mesos so in terms of uh, what it be HDFS simply Hadoop file system when a Hadoop you own file system that means when the when a cluster be created Hadoop you kind of implement some file system on your own where it will make allow you for be able to manage the rest of the cluster in its own way then we'll talk of the resource manager as you see we get yarn and mesos we mentioned we mentioned say um, the resource manager it will take care of the health the various processes in fact the, all the commands in fact all the instructions we we the main node they give to the we they give to the co-workers or the workers it will be done by the resource managers the resource manager you also you also hear about spark when another fast compute engine for real-time analytics that use them both for machine learning ai and so on it be written for scala and you also support other languages for example sql r python and java get plenty apis as we mentioned mla for machine learning graph x for graph computing and we know if we leave them without mentioning say this will be produced by backless amp lab by matai zaharia we will hear about hive will be produced by facebook impala produced by cladera hb produced by apache software hive they provide an sql interface and data warehousing capabilities we will see that in real life when we do, when we use real world example impala produced by cladera provide a massive parallel processing sql engine so we we'll get hbase when I column oriented non relational database management system, as we mentioned, column oriented uh, non relational database, we just also mentioned another one called Avro when a row oriented. We get Presto, where they also provide a massive parallel processing SQL, also by Facebook. We get Zookeeper, we manage and coordinate nodes and machine inside Hadoop cluster. We get Peak. A high level abstract map reduce framework again own language they call them peak latin actually be easy for for learner and for understanding and for user be originally developed by yahoo we we'll get drill when a column oriented no sql engine where it is also support very complex data the map are producer we we'll get kafka where they use for real-time streaming analytics. Now, LinkedIn produced that one. Get another piece of 
interesting technology they call an scoop will be used for transferring data between Hadoop file system and normal DBMS aggregate flow where the aggregate streaming huge logs of event files for its, and so on just almost like Kafka and Barry we keep track of status of running application inside Hadoop cluster almost like Zookeeper we get storm processing streaming data in real time almost like Kafka we get Mahao where they allow for to perform machine learning models across Hadoop cluster almost like Spark so you see here you see, we notice here say we get plenty different applications or frameworks or processes where they kind of do almost similar thing but maybe in different ways the best thing for do now try all of them try all of them then you see the one way it, it, it match for your use case you go ahead with them if you like also for check more on this particular link for you uh, projects.apache.org then one thing we will not leave without mentioning now which is the three views of big data or the three views of huge data we get volume velocity and variety some authors they actually um, introduce some other v's some they say five some they say ten i just pick some of these two some of the extra v's like these two here so that no we'll just mention them in passing so get three v's to volume velocity and variety when we talk of volume mean the size of the data in terms of the available infrastructure and resources we we get them then the velocity the rate at which that particular data be generated or consumed or talk of variety you mean a different types of data structured semi-structured or unstructured or talk of structure will mean things like you know figures numbers dates you know will be easy for manage and also be highly organized you get fixed schema right most importantly say you get fixed schema meanwhile for semi structure it kind of it kind of lie between structured and unstructured all talk of unstructured will mean like images videos gifs emojis text in fact anything where if it be stored for computer or for machine it be considered it be considered to fall under you know variety then now to the to this other two veracity and value for no talk of veracity we mean of like the quality and the authenticity of the data you see here we know if you know if you talk about quality and authenticity of data we never on analyze them you need to analyze you need to do some analysis on top before if you say no this data is authentic or not uh, the quality of the data is good or not understand they look at they if you see again this one value you know if you decide on the value of data we know you do analysis on it so now why that you know actually fall under those three v's of huge data because you because if to say you get you get 50 50 terabytes of data how you fit decide the value of that data we know i analyze them you see the point the same thing too 50 terabyte of data you know analyze them you know if you determine the quality or, or, or authenticity but when you get but you look at the first three v's that 50 terabytes of data by itself already tells you ah the volume is 50, 50 terabytes that's it it tells you about the size right they will talk about the velocity it tells you about the rate at which that particular maybe 50 terabyte be generated what period of time you take to, to get those data if you estimate say ah if this data will be generated within the past two months probably the next two months we will get two three four five times or less or so of multiples of that data then make us start to think of outsourcing maybe more infrastructure on clouds or on premise or or hybrid like mixing both on both on cloud and the on premise then as again variety you know that's from social media basically 
or maybe from your own um, source, maybe maybe na telemetry data, maybe some some network data, see IoT data, understand? So if if you really see how those three we really suit here. Okay, thank you very much for for listening.